Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. Um, as usual we're gonna take a look at uh, all the majors including gold and oil and uh, yeah guys while I roll the intro and disclaimer please 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 hit that like button for me <laughs> if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe see you there Welcome back guys, um, a quick look at the calendar and as you see it is uh, pumped with a lot of major um, news event uh, for next week. Uh, we have um, BOGI monetary policy statement, we have uh, core retail sales, retail sales from the US on Tuesday, we had uh, Fed Chair Powell to testify uh, two times, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday we have CPI from the CAD. Uh, we have employment and change and unemployment rate from Aussie, SMB monetary policy statement Thursday and um, another big day also on Thursday for um, the sterling where we have um, monetary policy summary, we have official bank uh, rate vote, we had asset purchase, uh, purchase facility or vote as well. We do have on Friday core retail sales from the CAD and uh, Fed Chair Powell speak again. Lots of events, you need to keep an eye on those before you enter a trade, especially here on, uh, on Thursday, keep an eye on your um, sterling trade uh, ahead of those uh, news events. Um, as usual we always start with the Dixie and uh, let's take a quick look on the weekly chart uh, you see that on the weekly chart we um, the Dixie just tested the 200 moving average on the weekly with a break below it but uh, the weekly close was uh, much higher so uh, it got rejected from that area and it is not only the 200 moving average we have this uh, whole area here of um, support that been uh, tested here on um, uh, la uh, last week so uh, a big rejection on the weekly and on the daily you see also um, the rejection coming from uh, this uh, previous uh, support and resistance level that I marked here on the on the chart and uh, yeah the, the question is uh, if we're gonna get uh, some more uh, correction on uh, this move to the upside or not uh, since we've got uh, this um, start of the move so for our time frame we see also that we start having some kind of a short term trend with higher highs higher lows a break above um, previous high and this last uh, for our candle here could be uh, some profit taking end of the week um, closing trade as well one hour you see it clearly here as well we had uh, this uh, nice rounded bottom we've got a break of the neckline we have a higher high another higher low and another higher high now the question is if we're gonna get some kind of a retest and continuation I think that could be the case and I will try to follow this uh, move um, from uh, this uh, area toward uh, more upside uh, because as you see this whole move been a very steep um, down move and we may get some correction actually I think we may get correction back toward monthly pivot point at around this uh, area up here on the dollar uh, or at least a retest of the 200 moving average on the four hour to keep an eye at oil um, weakening a little bit in, uh, at this level so as you see here on the daily time frame we have a we had a, some kind of consolidation a little bit of a range that got broken uh, on um, uh, Tuesday uh, Thursday la uh, last week uh, for our time frame we had uh, some kind of uh, head and shoulder scenario here the neckline is broken it might get retested and if it fails to make a new high I'm expecting one more down move toward uh, this level down here at around the 30 uh, so that's what I'm watching for oil uh, for next week looking for a possible um, now after this strong impulse we have gonna get some possible correction some kind of flag if it gets something like this to try to short it from uh, the 38 area is an interesting level to watch if it got tested gold um, 
was bullish but still all in all uh, in a range here for a very long time now we are looking on the daily chart uh, nothing has changed on gold we're still playing this range uh, selling high buying low that is uh, still the case and this high seems to be um, another uh, hurdle here uh, for the bulls got rejected one more time there is no break above previous highs and if um, the bears break below uh, this level here at monthly pivot point we may get another rotation back uh, back down to the bottom of the range so um, keep playing the range here as i said as far as there is no break above this high and if we got a break below this level here we may see continuation move to the downside on gold euro usd uh, also been um, very strong and uh, bullish to, uh, moving to the upside uh, last week uh, there was an attempt to break higher here and continue but it got rejected and uh, pushed back down now there is no break below the neckline on the daily as you see the daily close was back above the low of this uh, level here while on the four hour time frame we see that um, the market uh, went sideways to then a break lower below the neckline retest and then a continuation so what i'm looking for next week if we're gonna get a break below this level if that would be the case i'm looking for a continuation move back down toward monthly pivot point but at the moment we we see that the price is sitting as this at this uh, possible uh, support level looking left this area been acting a nice resistance and now it may act as a possible support so um, unless this level is uh, broken uh, bulls will uh, maybe try to push higher but as you see on the one hour time frame we had this little range that got broken it got retested and another break to the downside so instead of getting higher highs and higher lows we've got now a lower low and a lower high and any attempt to break higher that failed to make a new high could signal that rotation to the downside that is what i'm looking for uh, for next week on this market uh, sterling uh, usd i'm already short here and um, the reason for that uh, it was this push all the way toward this uh, interesting level here looking left this area been acting as good support and resistance i mentioned that level in my weekly overview last week and uh, it is working uh, very nice uh, at the moment um, we do have uh, a clear rejection uh, an evening star formation on the daily time frame at that important level we do have uh, on the four hour time frame a break of the neckline and a retest and a continuation so we have a clear uh, swing low with a lower high and another lower low i'm looking for more downside on uh, this market uh, any failure to make a new high here i'm looking for a retest of this level if any bearish evidence happen at this level i'm interested to add to my short down toward at least monthly pivot point um, on uh, this market usd jappy the 107 is an important level for the boji and each and every time we reach that level now we see some some kind of uh, strong rejection at the moment we had a strong push last friday with a bullish engulfing candle uh, on the daily chart uh, for our time frame we see this uh, very strong uh, push to the upside and i think after such a huge move to the downside uh, we may start seeing some kind of a correction now to be short uh, sure about this uh, potential long here i think we need to see um, a uh, stronger higher low happening so these are small ones i think i want to see something bigger so a big push toward this area at around 107 if this level start making a higher low i think it could be a good level to to look for a possible long here on this market usd chief daily time frame um we did reach this uh, pretty interesting level looking left this area been acting as nice support and resistance uh, previously so it got tested it got almost broken but then got rejected on the daily as you see the daily uh, chart here 
we do have what's called a morning star formation here it is confirmed as well since uh, friday closed way above uh, uh, the, the high of the uh, morning star candle so that is a confirmed uh, reversal and since it happened at such an important level i think we may see a continuation now keep in mind that this market been in a downtrend with a lower lows and lower highs and a strong break below here so uh, this might be also a correction and a continuation but the reason i'm thinking we might think of a long here is the way it moved from this area it was a very very strong push here uh, it looks uh, stronger than a correction uh, for me but to be more uh, sure about it as you see here the 200 moving average on the one hour still acting as dynamic uh, resistance we had monthly s1 as well at that level and we have uh, this previous structure so it is a a good area of profit taking and these last two candles here could be uh, profit taking on uh, the end of the week so to be more sure if uh, this will continue we want to see uh, this market making a little bit of a correction and start giving us a higher low if that would be the case i think uh, this will confirm the possibility of a reversal to the upside on this market usd cat also uh, been uh, strongly bearish after this and uh, this consolidation a break below that we did reach the level that i mentioned many times on my weekly overview we closed uh, the, we filled the gap here and the market did uh, reach this uh, pretty interesting level here of both uh, support and resistance area it is a pretty important area as you see been tested many many times and the way it uh, it moved from this level is also pretty interesting uh, morning star formation with a confirmation close above that <clears throat> it was a clear here and i think we might we might see a correction back toward monthly pivot point toward this area on this market um, next week so uh, we'll keep an eye on that as you see here on the four hour time frame nice double bottom with a spike uh, or a stop loss hunt below that broken neckline so the double bottom is confirmed and uh, after this uh, strong push to the upside now we may expect an abc uh, a b c d correction something like this to happen uh, could form some kind of flag that would be a good uh, idea and then a possible continuation so i will uh, for next week i'm keeping an eye on this neckline if it got retested to start looking for possible bullish evidence on uh, this uh, area here to look for uh, a potential reversal so keep an eye on this level here if you get bullish evidence we might see a continuation to the upside AusUSD also reached a key structure level on the daily time frame I mentioned this high here on my weekly overview as well got uh, tagged and then uh, a reversal start to happen for our time frame you see it clearly double top with a stop loss hunt neckline is broken got retested I'm, I'm and I'm looking for some more downside toward this area uh, next week so uh, that is uh, what I'm watching here on the one hour time frame you see it clearly a big um, a move to the downside a bounce another bounce here um, happened uh, at the end of the week and we may see a little bit of a continuation now any failure to make a new high here could con could um, be the signal for that continuation to the downside so keep an eye on this area here for a potential um, short area and the same for new zealand usd um, they are mimicking uh, the same moves while um, aussie did reach this level new zealand did not reach this level yet uh, but after this uh, daily uh, formation here i think we may see <clears throat> a correction back down toward this area or toward the 200 moving average at around monthly r1 so for our you see it clearly here same scenario double top with a stop loss hunt neckline is broken got retested and we're looking for another retest next week if it failed to break higher we are looking for a possible continuation toward this area down here you could also go lower to one hour time frame and play that and you see it clearly impulse we should have a correction after that's in that impulse now the question is how complex it's gonna be before that continuation so uh, that is what i'm watching for this market as well as the first um, scenario uh, in my opinion so uh, yeah guys that was it for uh, 
for this week thanks a lot for watching please uh, help the video to um, to show up on more and by hitting that like button or uh, adding a comment that will help uh, the video a lot and that will support my channels thanks a lot see you next week bye bye